Did we just fulfill a need? Holy sh- Grassy Posse Packer Nation! Welcome to an episode of Pack as a podcast where you don't do a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grassi, and yes, we did it, fam. We did it. We uh, we got an inside linebacker. Finally, in the fifth round, we did not trade back up into the fourth. Yes, we are still missing a wide receiver. Yes, the majority of wide receivers that I would have liked are gone, but... We, we, we got an inside linebacker. Before we break him down, I want to do a big shout out. Thank you to some brand new Patreons. Uh, Naked Weenus, just phenomenal. Uh, Christopher M. Hay, KDW57, and Robert Bish. Thank you all very much for supporting me over at patreon.com slash Tom Grassi Comedy. It is greatly appreciated. So let's talk about Kamal Martin, the inside linebacker that we got with the 175th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. So first things first, let's get the worst thing out of the way. He's from Minnesota. I know. I'm not happy about it either, but this is something that we're just going to, hopefully he just grows out of. 6'3", 240 pounds. Uh, I I was checking all around and kind of seeing where people had him mocked. The majority I saw was like as a priority free agent, you know, but again, mocks also mean absolutely nothing. He's been playing for the Gophers since 2016. In his college career, had 106 solo tackles, 13 for a loss, Three and a half sacks, four interceptions, five passes defended, three fumble recoveries, and four forced fumbles. So the numbers that I do like are the turnovers that he's creating. Some of those interceptions, he just happened to be in the right place, right time. But I mean, you know, that's that's a positive too. Hopefully he's in the middle of the field. Um, and the four forced fumbles really stood out to me because this guy hits like a freight train. Um, there's some caveats to that, but when he makes contact... Oh, it, people getting jacked up. Uh, in 2019, uh, he had 36 solo tackles, two and a half for a loss, only one sack, but two interceptions, one pass, is defend, one pass defended, two forced fumbles, and it was only eight games. He missed five games. Uh, he wound up getting surgery, had a knee injury. Um, and, and the things that I like about him is that, again, he's a nice tackler. He seems to have some damn good form, and he's a big hitter. Um, and he's a good delayed blitzer, too, in that... I. I the Gophers set him up to utilize his strengths. And what I mean by that is one of his flaws is he's not very mobile in that he's very vertical. I mean, you could go watch his highlights. I was able to watch a little bit of his tape, but he's very, very vertical in which if he's coming right at you, chances are he's bringing you down and he's going to hit you. And I love that aspect of it. And within the running game, that's a positive. When it gets into coverage, he has made a couple nice plays, but... You know, if guys start making double moves, if you have a really great pass, uh, pass catching tight end, or you know, a slippery halfback, that's when things could potentially get meh in in pass coverage here. Um, it seems that he needs to be paired with a another really good linebacker. Obviously, went out and got Christian Kirksey, who I think is going to most likely get the nod here. But the question is, okay, Tom, is uh, is this guy going to help us in the run game? You know, because of what happened in the NFC Championship game. And I think that this is more of a depth pick. But he, here's the thing: I don't see him being utilized on like third and long. Um, because then I think he could be in trouble. But how I see him utilized right now is on first and second downs. Um, I don't see him as a three-down linebacker just yet, uh, unless it's like third and one, then maybe he can get back there. Because there was times where he was able to shed blockers, and there was times where he just got all jumbled up in there, and it, and it really wasn't great. Um, but I, I I like the pick because we've, we've needed some assistance here. I'm curious to see if he's going to you know, get a ton of reps in the beginning because we really don't have too many other people over there. But I think Goody's also putting a lot of faith in the guys that we already have on the roster, which is terrifying. But we got an inside linebacker. I know lots of people wanted them. Let's go see what we get with the remaining picks this year. You Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course, YouTube. And a big shout out and thank you to all the Patreon members over at Patreon.com slash Tom. Grassi comedy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always, go pack go.